there's so many things that we tend to overthink and overcomplicate because our brains are trying so hard to figure it out. But when we really just take that moment to actually come back to ourselves and ask ourselves, what do I need right now? What do I need right now? What would feel really good to me right now? Freedom in our spirit is everything, my loves. The freedom in our spirit is what is making us so magnetic. I wanted to jump on today and just um, get to play a little bit with each of you and talk about bringing in more lightness and airiness and joy and playfulness into our lives. Um, and also just kind of really, I've been feeling into the energy lately in the world and feeling a lot of heaviness that has been happening recently. Obviously, there's been huge things going on in the external world but also just the energetic capacity of humans, I think is at this point of just feeling really heavy and drained, right? After pandemics and elections and wars and just challenges and COVID, just so many things that have just been constantly wearing on us, wearing on us, wearing on us over the last few years. I wanna give each of you permission right now to say it's completely okay if you were just feeling exhausted and heavy and full and just overwhelmed, right? And also recognizing that this is not our normal operating system. This is not the way that we are meant to be in in living our lives, right? And I think that I too, I I've been getting kind of caught up in some of that heaviness and I've just been really sitting with it a lot, feeling it. Like what does this heaviness feel like? It feels like sometimes anxiety, right? And I've been hearing this a lot from my clients too. It feels like overthinking, it feels like scarcity, it feels like fear, it feels like lack, it feels like physical heaviness on our chest, right? I'd love to know from each of you too, if you've been feeling any of these essences, what has this heaviness been feeling like for you? And when we start to bring awareness to this, what ends up happening is that we actually start to distance ourselves from it, from it being internalized and being just a part of who we are. And we can start to see it for what it is and saying, okay, wow, I'm actually really seeing some heaviness right now. I'm feeling some heaviness right now. And we can almost start to objectify it as something that is outside of us. And when we can do that, we can start to really realize that this isn't this isn't who we are, right? You are not a heavy, depressed, sad, meh kind of person. It's just that this energy has been seeping into you, right? You've been allowing it to get into your everyday experience. And I'm speaking to any of you who are just going through this right now, right? If you're having a great time and life is good for you, awesome, keep doing that. But for any of you that are feeling any bits of heaviness from anything in your life, maybe it's um, some sadness from a loved one, you know, that is having a hard time or just anything that, that's a hardship right now. It's really, really important to honor this moment when you're feeling this way as almost a contrast to the life that you know you get to com come back to, right? And this is a, a reminder that I share for myself and for my clients as well is that every moment in life that is a contrast that does not feel good, right? They call it a contrasting moment. It's a contrast from feeling good, right? Feeling shitty, feeling heavy, feeling dark is the opposite of our natural born and raised way of hopefully getting to be in this world. And so when we're feeling these contrasting moments, it's really, really important to recognize, okay, I'm in a contrasting moment. This is not my normal operating system. I know that I am meant to be in a place of peace and groundedness and security and poise and joy and radiance and love, right? And expansiveness and abundance. But if I'm not feeling those feelings right now, then I know that something is out of alignment. And this is the most beautiful part. When you are feeling a contrasting moment, what this is really indicating is that something is out of alignment in your spirit, right? And so instead of just letting ourselves getting consumed by the heaviness and consumed by just that contrast and that darkness, when we can start to push it outside of ourselves and see it for what it is, 
and then really look at it and ask ourselves, what is this contrasting moment trying to show me right now, right? What is it trying to teach me right now? This is when we can take our power back. This is what can have help to expedite this whole process excuse me, I got the hiccups, of being able to get back into that place of alignment, right? So we see this for what it is. It's a moment of contrast that is helping us to indicate where we get to actually course correct and get back on track, right? So let's say, for instance, that you are <clears throat> out in the dating world, right? And you are meeting men and you're just finding yourself, you're online dating, online dating, and you just find these men just not being what you want. And you're just like so aggravated, so frustrated. You're starting to really feel um, apathetic. You're starting to maybe just start second guessing and questioning if this is even gonna work, if you're gonna meet someone, if this is the right thing, if there's something wrong with you, right? And you start getting into that negative spiral and the darkness starts to take over and the heaviness starts to come and it just starts to like sit on your chest, right? Comment below if you've ever felt any of these feelings. These are the moments where we get to really lean into this heaviness. Instead of just letting that, that energy consume you with these thoughts, right? That little negative voice. Instead of letting that negative voice suck you in and consume you, we get to see this for the heaviness that it is. We get to push it out to be right here in front of us and start to actually look at it and ask it what we get to learn from this experience, right? What is it that we get to actually lean into in our own lives that can help pull us out of this experience and shift us onto a, a higher path? So if you knew that you absolutely were destined to be in a loving, passionate, beautiful, you know, committed relationship with a par partner that just absolutely adores you, if you knew that that was your, your truth and that that was the path of alignment for you, then any of these experiencing moments that are contrast you that is not in alignment with your path of highest alignment of highest uh highest existence right and so as you're getting to see this as a contrasting moment from your highest path this is where we get to have the learning this is where it's so exciting right we get to really see oh my gosh there's so much here for me to actually be able to course correct and pivot and shift to be able to get myself back on the path to alignment so from my own experience, I actually had an experience with this recently where I was feeling a lot of heaviness, where I was actually, I was so excited. I've had this beautiful office space that I've had for about eight months in downtown Portland on the 11th floor, angel number, <laughs> um, and just a beautiful space where I could just go in there and be myself and do my thing. And over time, I've been feeling heaviness. I've been feeling resistance to going to this office space. And I'm like this is so weird. Like, I don't understand why I'm having this resistance. And I just was sitting with this heaviness as it was getting more and more heavy. And I was starting to just really resent just going to the office in this space. And, and now I'm paying money for this space and all of this stuff is just coming up. And it wasn't until recently where I realized that this moment of contrast, which used to be something that felt so in alignment for me, was out actually now showing me how out of alignment it was for my life. And the more that I was resisting it and the more I was trying to kind of force myself and push myself into continuing to go to this office space, the more I was actually living out a path that was not in alignment to my new highest self. Because we're constantly evolving and growing and expanding in what we're needing and what we're wanting and what we're desiring, right? So what I was desiring last year really worked for me and I was able to manifest that beautifully. But what I'm desiring for this year is now no longer in alignment. And when I was able to have that realization and I was able to make that decision to release the office space and realize that I want to do a lot more of my work out hiking in the trees, right? Or taking walks and making videos or just hanging out in my home, in my beautiful home with my puppy and my beautiful man, right? Spending more time with my, with my family. That sense of heaviness completely vanished. Everything just lifted. This energy and essence just completely lifted. And I was able to feel in my body completely light and grounded and secure again. It was such a radical difference. And this is such a huge part of this too, is the teaching moment here, is that 
when we are listening to our body and we're allowing our bodies to tell us what feels good and what doesn't feel good, that's what we can really listen to as an indicator of are we in alignment or are we out of alignment, right? So I really want to ask each of you, if you've been feeling this sense of heaviness, what is it that first and foremost is this heaviness trying to indicate, right? Really seeing if you can gut check with yourself about what is feeling out of alignment for you in your current way of living. And then two, I want you to ask your body, what does your body need to feel more at peace? What does your body need to feel more at peace? And what can you do? What inspired actions can you take that would allow your body to feel more grounded and at peace? Right? So maybe for this example of the just feeling really frustrated about going out and dating and dating and dating, maybe the action right there is to just delete the, do the dating apps for a little bit and just take your focus off of trying to find someone, right? And just giving yourself that focus back on you. Maybe that's the peace and the grounded energy that will actually shift the entire way that you're approaching dating in real life, right? There's so many things that we tend to overthink and overcomplicate because our brains are trying so hard to figure it out. But when we really just take that moment to actually come back to ourselves and ask ourselves, what do I need right now? What do I need right now? What would feel really good to me right now? That's when we can start to actually get the truths and those little wiggets of wisdom, wiggets of wisdom, <laughs> nuggets of wisdom that actually click us back into alignment with who we really are. And that energy and effervescence and bubbly, flirtatious, playful energy gets to start to come back through our spirit again. And I can't tell you how incredibly happy and playful I've been feeling lately ever since I decided to let go of this office space. Because what I realized was that having an office space as beautiful and professional and successful and all that stuff that it was that it seemed to represent it actually just felt like I was creating a job for myself. Like I was clocking in and clocking out and that's exactly not what I want. I want to be able to feel the freedom of this beautiful, beautiful business that I get to support women in. And that was not feeling free to me. And so as soon as I was able to release that, I was able to get back into this place of freedom in my spirit. And the freedom in our spirit is everything, my loves. The freedom in our spirit is what is making us so magnetic. So I just want you to just really sink in with this message today. I want you to feel in your heart and ask yourself where you get to come back into that playful energy within yourself, where maybe you've been feeling out of alignment with that playful lightness and what inspired actions you can do to start stepping yourself back into that space today. Sending you so much love. Mwah.